Hi, I'm Brian Safi, and the reason I'm wearing these condom glasses is because what you're about to see could give you the eye clap. Let me explain. In 2006, America's most brilliant scientists came together to create an extremely infectious new super STD. At the same time, the country's most fearsome pimps unleashed an addictive new species of hooker slash stripper slash hepatitis enthusiast. And who else but VH1 could bring scientists and pimps together, go with it, to combine these efforts and birth something so disgusting, so misogynistic, so terrifying, so disturbing, so totally fucking amazing that it actually made you root for people who take shits on floors. This is March Madness, and today it's the ultimate skank down. Flavor of Love versus Rock of Love. Two 80s icons, Flavor Flav from groundbreaking rap group Public Enemy, and Brett Michaels from groundbreaking metal band the Eileen Wernos impersonators, were each put in a house with 20 women who were all competing for a chance at love and a prescription of Cipro. But which show was better? And by better, I mean worse. Which show raised the bar? And by raised, I mean took shots and then stripped on it. And which show had the hottest women? And by hottest, I mean most swollen and inflamed. We'll look at their music, the reality TV beginnings, the parodies, and the women until we have a winner. By winner, I absolutely mean loser. So put on your condom glasses and let's go. Oh, also, do not drive with condom glasses. It's unsafe, which is ironic. Yeah, boy! I wear hip hop slogans really well. Sub -sub -sub subscribe to subscribe to Potspot to, to keep track of all the March Madness because we've got new battles every single day. You can check others out here. I won't stop until we have a winner or until I drop a turd on the floor and get kicked out of the building. Again, I love dropping turds.